Welcome guys, uh, today is roughly about one year since I uh, rebuilt my engine and I found one more solution and there's another solution for another problem found by another guy but about the other solution I will tell you in next video but today uh, solution my for my for my problem uh, negative uh, fuel trims many probably uh, facing the same problem you did lots of uh, work on your engine on your car and you're still getting those uh, low uh, fuel trims and you don't know what's causing it most people uh, pointing the math like this one, this is 2.5 uh, M54 engine BMW. So story is uh, you're replacing most of the parts or checking them like I did. Engine was rebuilt. There was no way to get negative uh, fuel trims like these you can see here. I was actually uh, swapping the math with the second one I had from this engine you saw on my videos about oil uh, burning issue I, I did on my channel so I swapped the map because it's the same from M52 TU 2.5 and the fuel trims was actually the same still low on both banks and I was scratching my head what's causing that situation and about two years ago, just actually one year before I did the rebuild, I was uh, trying to fix that problem. And what I noticed each time I'm like uh, doing something on the engine, pulling the airbox out, and uh, you re you unplugging the math, and then you plugging in for like two three days, the fuel trims was actually close to zero but later if I hit like motorway they become low like on this picture you see minus seven and the car feels like uh, underpowered so I thought there's something with the uh, connection to the math so so what I did uh, I start moving the connection to the math and uh, watching the fuel trims the short short term fuel trims and I noticed they when I moving the connection, they moving towards the zero. So I thought, okay, it might be the socket. So what I did, I cut the socket off. I took it off completely. I bought small uh, um, female uh, spade connectors and I made my own permanent, uh, probably not the best solution, but I did permanent uh, connection. It was okay. But later again, this uh, situation with negative fuel trims came back. I was thinking, what the hell? And I actually found what's causing it. So what I did, I removed the top cover from the ECU. The ECU is over here. Took my multimeter and I set it for uh, continuity and also which is showing the lowest ohm uh, readings and I unplugged all the connections from ECU you can do it very easily and what I did and I plugged that uh, math connector and I traced all that's what's uh, test about and I traced all these three wires they all go into different connection and won't tell you which one it is because it will take half hour probably to find the ones but it's very easy just take your time one by one there's three colors uh, I think red with white stripes uh, black and yellow if you take all these three and check uh, one by one if they give you sound that means they are fine and also what kind of reading they, it should be around one one ohm 
or maybe less. So I was, I was thinking maybe the wire is some some somewhere broken or cracked and gives uh, some bad readings, but I didn't found anything. So what I did, I play around with these connectors. I took them off from the housing. It's very easy to take them off. You just pull them out. There's a small clip. You can pull them out. What I did, I actually pressed them in one by one, all of them, and I plugged it back. Actually, not hoping that was the solution. But when I plugged it back, I drove the car for a few days and uh, that was the solution and it's about now I think a month and a half the car feels more powerful more responsive and it feels how it should be so if you don't know what to do don't don't buy the math don't buy aftermarket math don't buy original math check the connection between end of the socket going to the math and those pins going to ECU so that's it I know guys uh, it might not work for you you might have different problem maybe the math is actually uh, bad but if you if you swap the math or you you have already one the new one and it's still bad just try that it's cheap doesn't take long and just remember switch off the battery disconnect the battery to not cause any problem with the ECU or something and it might happen that uh, fuel trims and everything will be reset so drive a little bit longer to test and check if your uh, fuel trims came back to zero my, my one are actually is up around minus one around minus one which is nothing and also weather is changing so that may be uh, that's why it's changing but they are near zero doesn't matter if I do motorway or driving city slowly fast doesn't matter so that was the cheapest and uh, actually surprising solution yeah so that that was simply bad connection I will actually wouldn't call that bad because the the, the wiring was okay it was just one of the pins uh, connection to the ECU was like loose or maybe not touching properly i don't know but hope you that will uh, help you and in future video that that video will be useful uh, i will mention that video and i will be doing more videos about engine problem guide and that will be included so see you next time thank you